Alcohol Ink Art. Transforming, translucent, evolving, simply beautiful. Explore making art with alcohol ink. Good afternoon, this is Cheryl Johnson and who are you? This is Jim Wildman. <laughs> this is your nephew. <laughs> this is my nephew, Jim Wildman. He's looking handsome today. I've got everything set up and I'm gonna to talk to you about um, alcohol ink. And that's what this demo is about. And I'm gonna ask that after you go out and get the supplies, that you uh, go to our um, Facebook page, Art Lessons Now, or go to our websites or somewhere, and send us a photograph of your ink project. We love to see that we inspired you. I'm Cheryl Johnson, and this is our Master Art class. And this is all about alcohol ink. And no, I forgot my cocktail. Oh my God. Well, let's start with alcohol. I drink it, but not this, okay? The kind of alcohol you need to use is 99%, um, it says on it, isopropyl, isopropyl uh, alcohol. Now, Jim and I, Jim will tell you, uh, what do we like to do? We like to experiment, don't we, Jim? Absolutely. We like to find less expensive ways to do things, and we like to invent our own. I'm an Imagineer, Jim is an inventor, he's an architect, oh my God. We are here to share with you exciting things to help save time and money. So, what you need to buy is uh, go on your local store or online or wherever and get a couple bottles. This is 99%, I really advocate this. If you use the 70% or the denatured, your art is going to get grainy and we don't want grainy. And also you want to use this on a slick surface paper. That means something like vellum or some parchments are uh, slick. I use stone paper, which is made of stone so no trees were hurt. And you can also use yucco, which is another kind out there, and terra slate and there's many others. But you want a slick uh, surface and there's even some new uh, products that are silicone or uh, polyester or plastic based. So those are great too. Also, if you paint on linen or canvas, you can gesso your surface with kills. Sand it, make it smooth. It's a wonderful product. Jim will tell you about that. Also go get yourself some inks. I um, picked these up online and these are by Zig Wong. Now, why did I buy this kind? Never used this kind before, so we're gonna experiment. I've always used um, a couple different kinds that I'm gonna put up on the screen, the four brands that I normally uh, use, but I'm gonna use today this one. And the reason I purchased this, it says it's high concentrated. Okay, so high concentrated. That's like having a cocktail without any water, okay? So these are inks, okay? So what we're going to be doing is uh, creating beautiful texture and surface. Jim, what is one of your favorite materials to use that you like to use in the portrait? That is a hint to say watercolor. Um, <laughs> watercolor, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say oil, watercolor. <laughs> yeah. Watercolor is the only other way I know to make this kind of flowing thing. But watercolor comes in tubes and cakes and it's not as easy. So these little bottles of ink, they have little stoppers in them, they're really great. And I encourage you to get your gloves, let me get mine in just a second, uh, because they stain, concentrated high pigment. And then what you're going to be doing is your knees are drying. I went down and got my... <laughs> I got my regular hair drying. And I also have this super duper, it's called Giotto, G-I-E-O-T-T-O. -T -T I guess I'm speaking Italia, Italian. Uh, and it's a called G the Giotto Rocket. See this? And it's just a little air aspirator and it's going to be moving things around. So what we're going to do is just experiment. I was almost prepared, not quite prepared, but almost prepared. So I'm going to tilt this down so Jim can see it. And then I've got my cameras recording and I'll insert the actual video of what I'm doing so you'll see it. But I'm going to keep this uh, Zoom recording up here so that I can uh, tilt it back up when I need to so you can see my pretty face. Uh, remember this is Terra Skin Paper and all I've done is taped it off with a green tape. Uh, the green works better than um, the blue because it makes a tighter seal. 
I also used a card, a cardboard, and I came across and burnished the edge like so, so that I get a nice clean seal along the edge. And this will give me a one and a half inch border. So wonderful what this is gonna do and you're gonna be so excited. Now, Jim, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue, I can always guarantee Jim's favorite color is blue. So I am gonna start out for Jim with blue. I just poured a little alcohol ink in there. Okay. Now, ooh, do you see that? That is simply the ink going into the alcohol. Now watch this, with the little Giotto, I can make this wonderful little movements and I can move this around and get beautiful, beautiful patterns. Or if you're impatient like I am, you can just blow the big Jesus out of it. <laughs> but what's so great about it is you can control it. So if I wanted a really strong focal point meaning the values, contrast of darks and lights. And I'll turn this into a black and white in a second so you can see this. If you can see really closely, the pigment is kind of like slightly purple because the pigment is uh, probably got a little red base in it to make it, but they say it's really strong concentrate. So there you can see it in black and white and see the values very distinctly. That's a good trick that you need to try using your phone to do that. Now, another thing you can do with this, if you want to, you can treat this like it's a painting and you can paint it and you can move it around. So now I'm going to open another color to give you an idea. You can let this dry or you can go into an immediately to another color. You can just drop it. Look at those beautiful colors. I wonder what that is. <laughs> alcohol and it's drying. So add a little bit more wherever you need it and then add more color and blow or watch it move on its own. It's really fun. And you can make it flow and you can direct it. You can do anything you're able to. This is why I put it on this board so I could move it. So if I move it and it gets down to right down here, notice it's right along the edge here. Hopefully it's sealed really well. I'm gonna put a little bit of more <clears throat> alcohol over in this side. I like leading edges. What's a leading edge, Jim? Do you remember what that is? It's where you come from the outside edge of the painting and bring it into the painting to draw Absolutely. your eye. Absolutely perfect, perfect. So I am just gonna make a leading edge come off here so that I have my color coming from the edge into my arc. And then I'm using my little blower. It's gonna dry quickly. All of this is drying really quickly, but you can experiment and make wonderful, wonderful, wonderful patterns, wonderful colors, and it's just glorious. So, that's alcohol ink, and it's fabulous. Now, that's a cue for me. I'm gonna go get a cocktail. So that ends my part of the demonstration. Any questions, Jim? Can you use alcohol ink over other media? Uh, yes, you can. You can use it on canvas, but I haven't had really good success with it. I have had good success where I put almost a thin Elmer's glue surface on the canvas, so it's kind of slick, uh, but it'll absorb rapidly into the gesso or into the fabric. But I want to start out with alcohol ink and alcohol because it's so fun and you can do it so easily at home and you don't need a lot of supplies and you can just make wonderful patterns. So I'm gonna show you again, it's still a little wet. So when you have 
when you have a shape or a design that you like, stop. My hardest part is stopping because I just love to play and experiment and have a good time. So uh, I forgot to mention, I love to combine medias like uh, alcohol ink with pen and ink, markers. I'm going to try these charcoal markers. Um, I'm going to be doing a demo on those soon. But if you use markers with it, let me just, this is, uh, there's a paint out there called Copic, C-O-P-I-C, that's also to refill markers. And markers are actually alcohol-based inks. And so you could use a marker to draw. So let me just show you, for example, if I wanted to create some wonderful line in my work. When you get into the water, it won't mark, okay? I mean, to the alcohol. But you can add some beautiful line to your art. So that's another thing that you can do that's gonna be really interesting. So make sure you experiment, try your magic markers and get out the different colors and play. So. Yes, try markers too. Any other thing, Jim? Nope. Oh. Okay. Pen and ink. Pen and ink is great. Pen and ink. Wonderful to draw in ink. Well, I hope you're a little more organized than I am. I have lost my lid. Where is my lid? Can you look on the table behind you? Ah, fell into the drawer. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you put your lids back on. There we go. This is the end of part one, Alcohol Ink. Please find the second part for your viewing pleasure.